Big Ninja in the building! Jamal Day Jones. I bet a lot of y'all clicked on the video so fast when y'all saw the title. Yes, it's true. I ain't gonna procrastinate it. Let's get into it. But first, those of y'all who rock with me and support me, if you watch this video all the way through, I have a nice little surprise at the end for y'all. So stay tuned. I just want to give us a serious thank you, a genuine thank you from the innermost part of my heart. Firstly, to God, and secondly, to the side community. Me having 700 subscribers would have not been possible if it wasn't for y'all. I thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Thank you all for listening to me, my opinion. Thank you all for subscribing. Now let's go ahead and get into it while you guys are really here. So let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. Let's go ahead and get to what y'all I came here for first i would like to share some things that i like about side collective if it's a company and a brand i love the uniqueness of the shoes you can't get his shoes in most places i like the fact that i can step outside i can go to a public area like the mall or somewhere or an event and i look around at other people's shoes and feet they all look the same but when you look at mine you ain't gonna have what i got you're not i like how people are like break their necks and they'll stop me, ask me, where you get your shoes from? Bro, those shoes are nice, those shoes are crazy. I love that about the brand. I love getting the shoe and I actually love doing the reviews on it. Have y'all seen my Vans Chan VV1 video? You might wanna go check that out. I love holding the shoe up, looking at all the different types of materials and the quality and stuff on there. I love that. I love that it's a community and the community is very giving. I just, I love that about the brand. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff. I've gotten some pouches. I've gotten some laces that I needed. I've gotten a free pair of foam shoes. I've gotten a free pair of shoes. The community is very giving, very giving. Y'all really do come in clutch for each other. Except when y'all trying to resell some stuff. Y'all be tripping with the resale price. It's not Nike. It's not Jordan's. Cut it out. <laughs> but anyway, I really like that about the shoes. I like the side of Wall Street, the fact that you can go in there and promote your business, promote your brand, and other people can check you out and support you. And it's just such a, a close and tight community of very nice and kind people. I really like that and I really enjoy that about the brand. Now it's time to get into the sourness. Honestly, it's too much of a financial investment. And with me being 26 year old, having a wife, having a child that I need to take care and provide for, I'm essentially taking money out of their pockets to invest in something materialistic and it doesn't really benefit fit me or hurt my family. No, I'm not going through a financial hardship or nothing like that. It's just not a great investment to pay 200 to potentially 400 plus dollars weekly or just monthly. Just not a great investment. Secondly, the purpose of my channel was not supposed to be strictly just about reviewing side collective products. I more so wanted to get into gaming, doing gaming videos, reaction videos, doing daily family vlogs. That's more so what I wanted my channel to be about. And if you look at my channel and you scroll, it's just really nothing but side collective or just reviewing brands and businesses in general. I've enjoyed that, but it's just not something that I'm honestly really passionate about. Thirdly, this is what made me sour and really turned me off. It was the 678 Outdoors purchase. I bought those shoes July 1st, got them July 7th, and when I got them, they didn't have their pouches. Now there was four strikes when it came to it, and I almost wanted to take every single video on my channel off. I wanted to unlist them, meaning that it's kind of like an archive, you can't see it. First strike was I bought, the, they were first come, first serve. So I bought the item and I didn't get everything that it was that it was advertised with, the, the, the neoprene cloud pouches. I didn't get those. The second strike was it had been over a month and I still ain't got my pouches. The third strike was I went in the side collective Discord chat. If you are a side collective member, you get access to the Discord. Very nice Discord. I went in there and I asked, I was asking, can someone sell me their neoprene pouches that came with the 678 Outdoors. Devlin Carter, the owner of the business, saw that and he asked me what happened to my pouches. In a very strategic way, I told him, hey, I never received my pouches. I've been trying to get it resolved for over a month and I still haven't heard anything back yet. Can I please have your pouches? He then, five to seven minutes later, come back in the chat and he started talking about what he's gonna do with his Twitch podcast and how he's gonna start it back up. To me, that put a very nasty and sour taste in my mouth. I'm not a business owner, but if I was, if someone trusts me enough to spend their money with me and I figure out that they've been having an issue with trying to get some resolve with my company, it's been over a month, I would be concerned. I would be really mad because why is it taking that long? I would try to find what the root problem is. I would implement systems 
and places that will prevent that issue from happening with that customer or any other customer that's willing to trust me enough to spend their money with me. And I would compensate that customer for their bad and negative in in inconvenience with their experience. That's just me personally to each his own. And fourth, when I got the pouches, finally, the packaging was horrible. One was, was not even in protective clear plastic. The other one was. And the one that was in protective plastic had a huge ink stain on it. Let me put this shoe up for reference so y'all can see. It had a huge ink stain up here. The overall pouch was dirty and it had a stain that I could not remove while potential risk of messing up the whole entire pouches. Shout out to Mr. 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 Uh, Chris for giving me his pouches. They, they came in clutch regardless if I got mine or not. Some might say, well, at least you got your pouches. It's the, it's the principle of it. If I waited all this time for it just to receive them and it's not even in perfect condition, that's 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 not right. Next, the membership. So I became a side collector member back in September when he did the Vulture phones. It was my first time becoming a member. So I paid about 247 for the Vulture phones for a phone shoe. I'm gonna emphasize that for a phone shoe. The oh. Previous members, they only had to pay 150 and they got the phone shoe, which makes sense. Been a member, you've shown your loyalty. So you get to pay the 150, everybody else gotta pay the full price. He said for this membership, they would just be 199 and he was gonna pick three shoes from a list of eight, but he listed all eight shoes up there. So if you buy any of the eight shoes, you get the membership. It doesn't make any sense because essentially depending on the quality of the shoe and the price of the shoe, not everyone's cost of the membership would be the same. That's one. And then secondly, I w I've been a member since last September. Why do I have to pay the same price as someone that's a non-member trying to become a member? That doesn't make any sense, especially if I know last year that the previous members, they only paid 150. When he said that all of them would be listed and they would be 199, I knew that was capped because essentially you're giving away a free shoe regardless of the quality of the material, whatever, or whatnot. Another turn off for me, this is kind of off, is the reruns. They're essentially souped up Chuck Taylors, but the retail for them is 209. Oh. Oh. Next, I don't see the purpose of what the Sia Discord is for outside of the Sia Wall Street. I know it's the to get closer to the business owner, but you can't even share your actual honest of thoughts without getting banned or blocked or getting your membership revoked. And even if it's in a polite or respectful manner, stuff that logically makes sense, you cannot say. If the sky is blue and you say that mud is blue and they and, and, and it's been implemented on us that it's red, you better say it's red. If not, you gonna get blocked. I don't like that mentality. If I invest my money somewhere and I trust you enough to spend my money with you, Hear me out, hear me out at least. I also don't like that if I'm in a chat, I'm a grown man, I wanna have conversations with somebody upon something, I don't wanna feel like I'm being micromanaged and I can't say this or I can't say that. And even if it has nothing to negatively, like in a negative way, it, it affects the brand or any shape, way or form, I still have to kind of watch what I say because the comment might get deleted or removed by a moderator. Like, I don't, I don't like that aspect at all. And then I'm a grown man, like just because you're a place in a position of power, don't talk to me any type of way. I'm a loyal customer. It's like, are you trying to run the customers off? I didn't like that. You can't put your opinion anywhere. You can't put it under a video. You can't put it anywhere that's not side collective customer service. You will get blocked and your membership will get blocked and revoked. I don't like the communication aspects. For example, with the Red October Infernos, the reason why they took so long is because the, the soul was warped and that was communicated in a live stream, which are deleted after they after it's, it's been up, unless you screen record it. Those people waited over a year for the shoe. I got a shoe, I bought off a reseller, but that could have taken away a lot of problems, headaches, pain, animosity, concern. If you would have said that up front instead of just keeping people in the dark and not everybody's seen that live. So just to say, hey y'all, X, Y, Z happened with the factory, they messed up. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but the time is gonna take longer. That would have dented a lot of problems with a lot of people. Now the stigma was reveyed to me that side collective infernos, it might take up to a year to get those shoes. And that's not the case. I pre-ordered the Raptors back March 25th and I received them in August. That's what, about four, almost five months? That's not bad for a high brand premium luxury shoe. In the midst of all of this frustration, there's still a lot of things to be grateful for. I'm thankful for all of the subscribers that I've gained, all 731 of you. I really appreciate all of you for valuing my opinion, my content, subscribing, liking. Thank you so much for that. I've gained a lot. I've gained friendships. I've gained networks. I've gained laces that I needed for some shoes. I've gained pouches that I needed for my six, seven, eights. 
I've gained two pair of free shoes from this journey. Thank you all sincerely again. I really appreciate it. I don't know how many times I can say that to really express how genuinely I feel, how much gratitude I have. I also have another surprise. So I've taken it upon myself to do a 30 day challenge while I upload every single day for the next 30 days. I started this challenge Monday, September 11th, and it will go all the way to October 9th. I will be uploading every single day and it will be different content for you all with my channel moving away from just posting side collective reviews. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. For my supporters that's been watching this, this video from the start and that's still watching it now, I finally have the nice surprise for y'all here. Big Ninja out. Peace.